Hey, what is up guys? In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a new ESC from Racer Star. Now, this is called the Beale Holly 32 Metal 50 Amp ESC. It's a 2-6S LiPo 4-in-1 ESC that's running Beale Holly 32 with a nice Iron Man uh, heat sink, as you can tell right here. So it looks really nice. It has some nice filtration on the bottom here. What we're going to do is we're going to do the, the noise testing on this guy, and as well as pop the heat sink off and uh, seeing what's below the heat sink here. So let's put this to the side. So it's rated up to 60 amp uh, burst for 10 seconds, which is pretty crazy. So let's see some of the things that it comes with. We do have a connector. So let's just see the types of connectors here that we get. And all right. Okay, so this is really nice. It's going to make my life a little bit easier right now when I'm testing. So we get a connector to the servo type JST dew point connector type of things here. And we also get a connector that goes like this. So I'm guessing there's some kind of a flight controller that's supposed to be released for this soon, maybe. Uh, that's what I'm guessing right now. So we also get a capacitor, and I'm pretty sure it's a low ESR capacitor here as well. So let's just take a look at this. Yeah, so it's a Rubicon 470 microfarad 25 volt low ESR capacitor. Uh, if you were going to be using a 6S, I'd highly recommend you go ahead and um, get a 35 volt just to be safe. It's a little bit better. Or just put, stick a thousand microfarad possibly. We're going to test it with and without the low ESR capacitor just because some people like that stuff. And we do have a nice little diagram here that tells us, or a little manual that tells us uh, how to connect this guy up. So, all right, let's put these to the side. And obviously it does come with some nylon standoffs. All right, so let's take a look in here. Now, as you can tell on the heatsink, uh, we do have these two little holes right there, right in the middle of the two eyes. And why do we have that? Because we actually have two LEDs. So when this thing boots up, it's gonna have red eyes. That's pretty crazy. However, we're not gonna get to see that in this video. So let's take a look in here. So on this side, I was expecting to see possibly more filtration, but there is no, no capacitors here. Uh, we just have the FETs on one side. Actually, we have the FETs on two sides of the board. We have FETs here, and then we have some of the FETs on this side of the board. So our filtration is basically these capacitors right here. And uh, the MOSFETs are pretty big, so that's really nice. They're not using the three by three. I think these are the three by fives or three by fours. So let's connect it up and let's get testing. Alright guys, so the results are in and um, it's really, really good. Right out, just just, just taking a look at it without even comparing it just yet. We're going to do this together so we get my raw reaction into this raw, raw, raw reaction. There we go. Alright, so let's get started. So uh, the way this works is this side, they're exactly the same test here. So up on top, we have the throttle noise level test, which is on the left here. So is this one, this one's the colored version. So you can get an idea of where the voltage is at most of the time. So we have 10% throttle, 25% throttle. 50%, 75 and 100% throttle. This is the noise. Uh, the, the possibility of mid-throttle oscillations due to electrical noise is very minimal on this. It's as minimal as a Dell RC. That, that, yeah, that's how good it is. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's crazy. We'll see that right now. All right, on the right side, we have the simulated aggressive flight maneuvers, you know, quick rolls, you know, quick uh, throttle changes back and forth, having the coils just, you know, relinquish that back EMF for the voltage back into the system, how well it copes with noise here. So if it's a lot of voltage spikes or is it soaking up the voltage spikes? Uh, is the is the voltage amplitude consistent like together as you can tell right here so it's looking good now let's take this into another perspective with bringing in other esc so we can compare and get a better idea so let's start with the dys aria i think we should start with the dys aria here and we're going to take the throttle noise level test this is the dys aria up here now and on the bottom is the race star metal and we're going to get the noise test there we go 
So the DYS Aria wasn't a really good ESC at all. I mean, you can tell that right there. I mean, this is probably considered average for a 4-in-1 ESC uh, because it's, it's slightly better than most. But if you take a look on the bottom here, this is what's what's been in the in the top. This is this is really good testing result from a Razer Star Metal. The MOSFETs on board are really proper MOSFETs as well. They take up to 40 volts, and you just have to do your calculation with watts and everything. It might drop down to 6s. So yeah, theoretically these things can take a 6s. I mean, on paper, yes, they can take a 6s, and uh, they're going to be incorporated into the 6s shootout. These metal ESCs. So is the device iron. Right, we'll see how well those go, and probably do a little stress testing, see which one blows up. Also, that'll be pretty interesting as well. All right, so as you can tell here, it's a no-brainer. Uh, the Racer Star is the winner. And just to, to clarify, how did it win? If you're new here, if you don't know how these things work, uh, what you want to see in these tests is the voltage as close, you know, have the smallest amount of footprint as possible. You basically want to see it align. If you had just a straight line, that's an absolute perfect result, which I don't think we'll ever see. Um, but, you know, the smaller the line, the better the line. Now, if you can tell here, this is a device, oh, it's not really good because the voltage is jump, it's fluctuating like between 20 volts, I mean, 10 volts here, possibly. So, you know, it, it's it's not really good. You want to see it consistent and very, you know, as compact as possible. This is what we see here. The voltage was at right there most of the time where the red was, and it was just escaping a little here and there. But mostly, it's pretty consistent. This is really nice. This is a really nice test, actually. Really good test from the metal uh, ESC, the 4 one ESC here. Now, if we take a look here, the device already obviously is, is not as good as the Razer Star Metal 50 amp ESC. And by the way, this was no without the low ESR capacitor. And I've actually forgot to test it with the low ESR capacitor, but it doesn't matter because if you put that low ESR, it's just going to give you an absolute perfect result. That's what the low ESR capacitor does. But to know that this ESC is 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 handling this well is absolutely phenomenal. And to let you know about some of this ESC, as soon as I turned it on and I heard the motors, I was like this one seems like it's going to be a good one and uh there we go it's a really good one so yeah let's let's stop comparing it to the device all right let's move to something else let's see what do we have here let's go with the tico 32 4 and one esc there we go where's the tico 32 all right so here's the noise oh, wrong one we need the colored version so throttle color there's the throttle color can you can you see that can, can you see that <laughs> it's crazy this is insane. This is crazy. So what do you guys see? I see something that's as good as a Tico 32. I still can't believe it. This is this is insane. Um, I'm going to be speechless for a while. So I'm just going to laugh a little bit and then I'll come back after I cut this part out. All right. So yeah, this is a hell of an ESC and it's going for 45 bucks right now. Now, the thing is with this, I cannot tell you that it'll run this good on a 6S or a 5S, but I can tell you on a 4S is testing perfect. I think oh, that's the word. Maybe it's testing really, really good. That's what I'm trying to say here. Uh, let's put second and third best ES four and one ESCs on the radar here. So we kind of get an idea what's really going on. So there we have the Dal RC rocket 45 amp version actually no they're, they're still pretty good but actually the metal is doing slightly better this is the dal rc rocket 45 amp version um let's go ahead and check the uh 60 amp 50 amp version here where's the noise there it is here we go so the top two here are the new, latest new dal rc's rockets so we got the 45 and the 50 amp version here and when you compare it these all all four of these i mean from the tico 32 to the dal rc uh, they're all performing very well. These are these are the best new 4-in-1 ESCs, actually. It's very difficult to dictate because, no, they're actually all performing on the same level, basically. Maybe the rocket here, the 50 amp, wasn't doing as good here. But as you can tell, this is crazy. This is really, really good, actually. Um, let's see, what else do we have? Well, I mean, everything else is just worse. I mean, if you want to see something, okay, I have another one. The Ori 32 stack. This is a 20 by 20 stack that's competing with the 30 by 30 stack. Let's put it on the radar. So there we go. So this is the best 20 by 20 stack, I think, on the planet currently. I could be wrong, but from the ones I've tested um, and, and, and the quality that I see on the Ori, and, and I've seen others online, but I think the Ori 32 is the best 20 by 20 stacks for hyperlight builds. Um, definitely 100%. 
because this testing result was really good. It soaks up that noise hella good, and people are reporting they flew it on a 6S. However, I won't recommend it. I'm not saying it won't work and it won't last. And I'm just saying I wouldn't do it myself because I would like to keep it as long as possible. But this was on a 4S super massive hunger setup on the Ori 32. So I'll leave a link to the Ori 32 down below. You can go ahead and check that out. So, yeah, we got a new 4-in-1 ESC on or we should call it the A-class ESC list, maybe, yeah. And I have a new way to organize all the data that I have, especially these graphs and the FPV video feeds. Um, later on, I might make a little post on the forum for someone to help me a little bit to, to make it into a nice way where people could search through it because I have quite a lot of data on ESCs, like a lot of data. Uh, so I need, you know, I need to figure out something to do with it. But yeah, the Racer Star Metal 50 Amp ESC on bench testing looks absolutely phenomenal. Uh, it's come, it's 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 on the same level as the Tico 32 4 one ESC, Dal RC Rocket 50 Amp and 45 Amp, and as well as the Dal RC Engine, as I believe. Let's, this is just crazy. So this is insane. Uh, it's 45 bucks. It's cheaper than all of them. So yeah, I guess we have a new best budget. It wouldn't even be considered budget. It's, it's I don't even know. Yeah, the best cheapest 4-in-1 ESC that's in the A-class ranking I guess I don't know anyways I'll leave a link to everything down below the ESC looks really good it tested really good is the motor sounded really smooth I had no hiccups I plugged it in went ahead the two LEDs did turn on for the for the eyes that are supposedly supposed to be there but you know since I removed the heat sink I can't put that thing back on so yeah the, the LEDs work there those two little red LEDs and um well that's it guys I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you do like this content please consider supporting me on Patreon and also if you have any questions or you're stuck or you need help with your FPV gear or setting up or an issue go ahead and check out my forum it's called uh, dronemeshforum.com I'm there I'll be answering everybody uh, that I can and uh, I'm mo spending most of my online time there now if you want to go ahead and um, leave a message or just uh, if you have an issue or you had not or I had a question so you can go ahead and post that there I'll reply there and uh, there's a lot of awesome great cool people there and uh, posting their builds and stuff and yeah it's just pretty awesome so yeah guys i'll leave a link to everything down below obviously they're affiliated those greatly support the channel so if you could choose them use them that'd be great and also if you consider joining my patreon it'll help the channel quite a lot and to help keep the forum running and also think about joining the forum if you have any questions or uh you need help with something and i'll see you in the next one peace out guys